What's up, fam? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Bumper. Just snap the damn ball, RJ. Today, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to give you a news roundup of the latest headlines and things I think you need to know as an OU fan. And if you like it, I'd like you to tell me about that in the comments below or shoot me an email or shoot me a tweet. If you're new to my channel, this is your first time here, consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video like this one every single day. It's always OU related, college football related, sports related. We have a good time. So the first news item you need to know is offensive lineman Marcus Tank Jenkins tweeted earlier this week that he's expected to take his official visit to Oklahoma this weekend. Now this is a big deal because offensive line coach Bill Biedenbo has tried to get Jenkins on campus since last summer. And Biedenbo recently did an in-home visit with Jenkins, who's from Montgomery, Alabama, and plays at Park Crossing High School. This is a place that Auburn usually locks down because of proximity and how many of his teammates and former teammates play at Auburn. But getting Jenkins on campus has been the issue. But it kind of feels like if he gets there and he likes it, he might commit. I said earlier this week during the live stream that I didn't think he would commit because I think it's likely that a kid goes home, has a conversation with his parents and then makes a decision but we do know that signing day is fast approaching so keep your eye out for what happens with the six foot four 325 pounder who ranks number nine in the state of Alabama and number 22 at his position as a man who could very well help round out this 2018 class second item you need to know is longtime institution Jerry Schmidt has decided to take the strength and conditioning coach job at Texas A&M this is a big deal because Jerry Schmidt was one of the last guys from the original 1999 staff to have held on for 19 years at OU. He coached 18 first rounders. He coached six Heisman, three of which were at Oklahoma. He was one of the original guys in a trailer with Bob Stoops mocking up recruits on a whiteboard. And there are many people who are going to have a hard time imagining Oklahoma without Jerry Schmidt's presence. And I can understand why he would decide to leave. Jerry Schmidt was just the 15th highest paid strength and conditioning coach in the country at $339,000. The highest paid strength and conditioning coach is Iowa's Chris Doyle. He makes $675,000 a year. I would not be surprised to find out Jerry Schmidt becomes the highest paid strength and conditioning coach in college football or close to it because I can't imagine a man who's coming up on his crystal anniversary to OU being swayed for anything less than a lot of money. The next item you need to know is basketball related and basketball recruiting related. It's that 2019 point guard and Sooner commit Davion Harmon ranks number 35 in the Rivals 150 list. This is a good thing. This is a great thing because recruits watch the stars and recruits want to play with good players and and we're going to need somebody to help us fill the void after Trey Young leads for the NBA. Now, he's not said as much, and his family hasn't said as much, but you have to believe that a guy who's leading the country in scoring and assist in the Big 12 has led his team to a top 10 ranking, and his perennially leading sports center is going to go to the NBA as soon as he can. So it's nice to know that the six foot one, 175 pound point guard has already decided that he wants to come and fill that void, and will need him. Now, you also may have heard that Rodney Anderson flirted with the idea of going to the NFL before deciding to come back for his red shirt junior your season. The man rushed for over 200 against a Georgia defense that many people thought was the best in the country. Between Kyler Murray and Rodney Anderson, we could have a dominant rushing attack. But it also means fewer snaps for other running backs, which leads me to another item you need to know. We thought that one of these running backs would transfer, and it turns out Abdul Adams might be looking to transfer, which wouldn't surprise me. Abdul Adams is a fantastic running back, and for much of the season, he averaged 10 yards per carry. So I don't have an issue with a guy who wants more carries, going to a place where he can get more carries, and shine. Particularly if he's leaving the conference. The last item that you need to know about, which I think would make a lot of people happy, is Jordan Parker is okay. And not just okay, he could likely be battling for that number one spot come spring ball. And that's good news for a secondary that's going to be really young next year. True freshman Trey Norwood, Trey Brown, Robert Bronze all saw significant playing time last season. And arguably our best corner, Parnell Motley, was a sophomore. Now, I like what we have back there. I like the talent that's back there, but the experience is just not there, and that's something that they're going to have to earn early and often next season. So I'm glad to see that Jordan Parker is going to be back to playing football very soon. All right, that's it for me. If you like the videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Deuces.